What is up guys? My name is Killen and this is Rare to Reviews, the number one outdoor active reviewer. If you like outdoors, if you like being active, and if you like being active and being outdoors, then I would highly consider to hit that subscribe button and you could actually hit that bell to even let notify for the next video. And who wouldn't want that? I post a video every weekend, I at least try to once in a while on this one, but I was I am trying as hard as I can, so look out for a video every weekend and if you wanna find my videos best I always post them on my social media and my Instagram and it is at Colin22. I will put it somewhere on the screen. Today we have actually a mountain bike product. This is a knee pad that just fits all around. It is the 100% the brand, 100% not sponsored. <laughs> Disclaimer. 100% knee pad, and we have it right here. This is the this is the Surpass Edition. It is actually a level two rated knee pad. Level 2 means it has a little bit more protection than a level 1. Level 1 is just a little lighter and a little bit more flexible, as I say. But these things, these are best of both worlds. I gotta admit, these things go from cost country to all the way to downhill. It can take downhill hits all the way to just pedaling on the bike. These ones have been the best ones I have had, and I have had a lot. I've had Chorley, I've had Race Face, I've had these 100% ones, and I did try some, I did try two types of Chorley, and they never did work that well. I actually do have the Race Face ones. These are the Race Face versions, and these have the D3O technology, where on impact it gets really hard and when it's like this it's really soft these ones are perfect for people that have really big legs so if you're a heavy rider I would definitely recommend these race face because they can get pretty big I got the XXL version on knee pads you always seem to go one more up it's not true to size so you always go one more up so on these ones, I went for an XL, and my leg, so my calf is 16 inches in that circumference, and my thigh is about 19 in circumference. I will, I'll convert those into milli, millimeters so you can actually see the difference, but your measurement right here and right here for each strap. So on the back, it has a big strap for the top that goes around, you can undo it. And it has a small one for around your calf. It is a sleeve, so you do have to slide it on. It's very breathable, soft material back here, very stretchy. It's almost like Lycra. The front, the level two, is because it has padding inside behind this. And then on the outside, it's kind of a hard soft, so you can still bend it, but it's hard. Most of the new ones, they actually have just soft, mushy stuff, and no one wants just that. So this has a hard covering, and that's why it can go from downhill to cross country, because it's so flexible. It's very flexible. And then you have this hard cover, and it's just, knock down everything. This is very breathable. Sometimes I get a little hot if it's like 90 degrees out there, but most of the time it's pretty pretty cool in there. The reason why I like these so much is how comfortable they are. Most comfortable knee pad I have ever worn. It'd be a 10 out of 10 for me because I've tried a lot of knee pads and this is probably the best one I've ever had. You always had to get comfortable to for different knee pads but this one you go straight and it's just so comfortable so it does have padding all along the side right here all of these little square things are all padding same with right here and you have 
some down here. You got the rubber triangle stuff. You got the 100% logo. And you got that padding all the way down from here. And it's just smooth on that back side. You wouldn't want padding anyway down there. And then it has this rubber silicone inside for extra grip. Same with at the bottom. The bottom also has that. And then on the inside, it actually says what, it, what side is it, it is. So you're not fumbling around to actually find it left or right. So I've been running these for actually about a half a year and I've actually hit some the ground quite a few times with these but they've stopped everything I've hit I haven't had any issues with skid knees no bleeding on the inside these things are awesome against rocks to gravel to anything that actually you could hit with your knee so I would 100 100 percent 100% recommend these things to whoever is looking for a comfortable knee pad that wants that extra protection that also can go to downhill to trail to just full out pedaling and uh, sometimes it's always hard to find that balance between all of them but they seem to do it very good I will link all of them I will link this version I think there's a black version and a cheaper version I'll link all those down in the description if you want to check them out the only setback this had is it actually broke right here the strap and we had to sew it back together when we sewed it back together it just made it three times as strong so that would be the only drawback to this is because that ripped right there and that the other knee pad, that one's still, this one's still holding up just fine. It must have been just a thread just coming loose. No big deal. Just sew it together. You can machine wash these, throw these in the washing machine and wash them. It has all the instructions on the inside if you want to read all that, how to wash them and stuff. They will be running about 100, between 125 to 100 for these. These pair, the cheaper pair, they're a different style, a little bit different of design. But they are running about $70 and they're almost the same, but a little bit different design. If you have the money, I would I would get these. I would get these surpasses. You won't regret it. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, go check the stuff down in the description as always I always have them labeled down here anything other equipment that I use in this video or any video and thank you again hit the like button if you like this video and tell me in the comments if you got a pair or you're thinking about getting them or what do you think of them already and yeah that is it for this one think positive stay happy and later